Greetings everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so as promised, uh, today uh, what I'm going to talk about is the main function or feature or facility that I uh, love, use the most, would miss the most, I think, um, uh, with regard to the Olympus Pro range uh, of lenses. Now, before I go into that function or feature, um, let me just um, talk about how I use um, uh, my, my cameras. Back in the days of film, <clears throat> when I sort of cut my teeth photographically, I used an Olympus OM10 film camera, and that is natively an aperture priority camera. So I learned to control exposure by uh, mucking around with aperture and then also exposure compensation, um, which is quite difficult when you're doing it with film because you have to experiment, write down what you've done, uh, and then, you know, with film, you sent the film away, you got your results back a few days, maybe even weeks later, and that's when you found out the result of what you'd done. But I learned a lot about <coughs> um, aperture, the impact of aperture on shutter speed, and then the impact of exposure compensation on um, you know, brightness and the final result. So as a consequence, because that's a way in which I um, learned my photography, I use exactly the same mechanism um, on my digital cameras, and that's just not that's not um, restricted to Olympus. When I use Canon, I was in aperture priority all the time um, because I'm mostly on a tripod. I'm not really worried too much about shutter speed, but then I would use exposure compensation to drive the histogram to get the exposure um, that I was after. So that's the approach that I use. Um, on these cameras and I know the purists amongst you are going to be shouting at the screen right now saying well why aren't you um, using manual um, I think uh, using aperture uh, allowing shutter speed to take care of itself um, and then uh, you know just using exposure compensation to drive the histogram w w what's the difference between that and manual but that's just my view okay um, now, with regard to focus, um, obviously on my film camera, that was manual. Uh, on the digital cameras, you have the choice of um, manual uh, or autofocus, and you have different types of autofocus modes, different proportions of the um, sensor can be used for autofocus and so on and so forth. Now, I tend to use a mixture of autofocus and manual focus. Um, if I'm out in the landscape and I'm working very quickly, I will tend to use autofocus. I will move the focus point around to whatever object it is I'm trying to highlight, or if it's a uh, landscape scene with a, a lot of depth, I'll use the focus one third in um, into my scene rule, and I'll use autofocus to do that. Uh, because simply, that's the quickest, most efficient way for me um, in, in order to achieve that. Manual focus is something that I use uh, in specific situations. So uh, a good example of that would be I'm at a beach, I'm uh, wanting uh, or I'm waiting for waves to crash up against a seawall. Uh, I would use manual focus there because what I wouldn't want the, do the camera to do is start uh, hunting for a focus point at the same time that the wave crashes up against the sea wall. So I would put the camera in manual focus, I would choose my focus point, and then I'd probably be on a, uh, you know, a remote shutter release, just waiting for that moment to happen and then bang, catch the, capture the image. Another time that I would use uh, manual focus would be if I'm doing a long exposure. So I've got um, lots of filters in front of the lens to fool the camera into thinking the uh, shutter needs to be open for way longer. Um, but because of the uh, amount of light coming into the lens, the camera is struggling to focus. So I would use manual focus. I would focus uh, on my point. I would then put the filters on and then I would um, uh, control my exposure either, either using a bulb function or I would let the camera take care of it and then use exposure compensation again in order to control the exposure. But I'd have to use manual focus because, of course, the camera can't 
see what it is that it needs to uh, focus in on. Um, another time I'd use manual focus is um, if I'm using sort of like f2.8 and I'm in a bluebell wood and I'm trying to pick out an individual uh, flower in a sea of flowers, uh, I will use manual focus um, there in order to make sure that I highlighted the particular flower that I was wanting um, to highlight. So I use a mixture and I've tried to give you some examples um, of where I'd use either, you know, either autofocus or manual focus. And again, I know that there are going to be purists out there that say, oh my goodness me, you shouldn't use uh, autofocus. But my view is I've paid a lot of money for this kit. Um, and this kit is capable of doing a lot of things itself. Why would I pay out all of that money on all of those functions and features and then never actually use them? So I, I choose when to use them. Now, as you saw from the last video, uh, the Olympus system provides the super control panel that allows you to access various functions. And one of them is being able to um, uh, swap from single autofocus, continuous autofocus, and of course, manual focus. However, on the Olympus Pro lenses, and currently I have two Pro lenses. So this one here that you can see in frame, this is the Pro 12 to 100 lens <clears throat> and hanging off my pocket. I also have, this is the, uh, let's move back a bit. This is the 40 to 150 Pro lens. This one is an F4 lens all the way through. And this one is F 2.8 uh, all the way through. These are the two lenses I have, but these two lenses provide something called a manual focus clutch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around to point at the lens and then I will talk you uh, through uh, how I use it, but also why I absolutely love it. So here we are. I'm um, uh, now pointed the camera at my, uh, this is the 12 to 100 uh, zoom lens. Um, like most zoom lenses, uh, it has uh, a zoom ring, which you can quite clearly um, see there. This is currently at its 12 millimeter end. And then there is uh, another ring, and this is the uh, focus ring, which when I'm uh, in uh, autofocus, uh, clearly I'm not using. However, if I want to swap between uh, autofocus and manual focus, all I have to do is that, I'm just gonna flip it forward again, autofocus, manual focus, and that's it. And then I can actually use that ring to start focusing uh, on my subject. It's really simple and it's really straightforward. I don't have to go into a menu. I don't have to do anything. I literally just have to do that. Now it sounds really simple and it sounds really straightforward. <laughs> there is one flaw with it though, and that is on uh, several of the forums uh, that I follow for the Olympus system, the number of people that have put the clutch into manual focus mode, forgotten that they've done it, and then gone back to their cameras and tried to use autofocus to discover that it doesn't work anymore, then they've panicked and thought, you know, thought that they've, they've broken their camera, only to be told, have you checked the clutch at the front of your lens? And then they, then they come back very sheepishly and go, ah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, so it's, you know, it, it's, it's a lovely function, but it's also one of those things that can, can trip you up. And on the uh, 40 to 150 lens uh, that I also have, this is exactly the same. There is a ring at the front of the lens that you can just flick back and forth in order to uh, switch between autofocus and manual focus. And of course, um, I can do it whilst I've got my uh, eye to the eyepiece. Uh, I don't need to push any buttons back here. It's look through the eyepiece, flick the clutch. So I flick the clutch and then, you know, do what I want to do um, manual focus wise. Occasionally I will um, I flick the clutch and then have to use the uh, menu in order to change the focus point, because of course that's the point at which the camera will try to manually focus but most of the time I've already selected my focus point uh, and therefore um, 
Uh, it's just a case of flicking the clutch and then um, you know, twiddling the dial and away we go. If you are enjoying this video and would like to support my channel, then please click on the thumbs up icon indicated here. To be notified when I upload new content, which will be every two weeks, then please consider subscribing. It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. As well as subscribing, click on the bell icon and select all in order to get these notifications. All updates for new videos appear here on the top right hand side of your YouTube homepage. So just to try and uh, bring this to life a little bit more, uh, it's quite an interesting challenge because it's quite a bright day today. So you're now looking at the back uh, of my Olympus camera. Um, if I go into the super control menu uh, and I will highlight it, you can see there uh, where the marker is. Uh, I'm in uh, single uh, autofocus mode. Um, you know, it even comes up and says single AF. Uh, if I want to choose my autofocus point, I'm going to have to move it somewhere dark, but you can see there there's a, um, a green uh, square, which I'm just moving back and forth. Hopefully uh, that comes out on the video. Um, that's just um, using the um, using these rockers. Um, oh, why isn't the camera? Hang on, that's not going to work. Let me go about it a different way then. This is when technology lets you down. So what I'm doing is I'm using these rockers here in order to move uh, the focus point uh, about. But um, so if I move the focus point to be on the tip of this leaf, uh, like so, uh, half press the button and there you can see quite clearly uh, the camera is uh, focusing on that point. Now let's imagine I'm in a situation where I'm wanting to use uh, manual focus. As I've said previously, all I do is flick the clutch there we go, which I've just done. Uh, and now I can manually focus. Uh, you can see here it now says MF. It tells me that I'm in manual focus. And a uh, function I have enabled on this camera is a uh, focus peaking uh, and focus zoom. So as soon as I touch the focus ring, it's going to zoom in on that focus point um, like so. And then I can fine tune the focus. Where is there we go? Uh, and you can see there's a little bit of that leaf that turns and there's a wind so it's actually um, making the leaf move but you can see the, the leaf sparkles ever so slightly and that's telling me the points on that leaf that are actually sharp I'm just doing that a few times so that you can see it and there you go manually focused bang take my picture to go back to autofocus it literally is um, uh, flick the clutch and then again I'm just half touching the button uh, in order to autofocus. Easy peasy. As far as I'm aware, the uh, auto manual clutch, this thing uh, is actually available on all of the pro lenses. Uh, I've used four of the pro lenses, um, the 12 to 100, the 40 to 150. I've also used the 17, um, no, not the 17, was it the 7 to 14? millimeter lens that has the pro clutch uh, the uh, manual focus clutch and the other one I've used is the 12 to 40 pro that also has um, the um, uh, manual focus clutch I think the new lens that's just come out is at the 8 to 25 that also has um, the um, manual focus clutch so I suspect if you buy any Olympus lens in the pro range you're going to get this function and this feature I love it it's it's one of those things that when I discovered it, I thought, OK, am I ever going to use it? Because I'm, I was so used to going into a menu option um, or finding a, you know, a, a manual focus button somewhere on the camera. But now it's almost intuitive. Uh, when I find I want to use it, I just reach forward to the front of the lens, click and I'm in manual focus. I absolutely love it. I adore it. And like I said on my last video, if I ever moved away from this system, that is something I would definitely miss. I do have some lenses that are not um, pro. I've got the uh, 9 to 18 um, uh, normal lens, for want of a better phrase. And the number of times I've reached forward onto that lens to find the clutch and forgotten that I actually need to go into the super control panel, uh, I've, I've lost count of. So it's, it's, it's a function that's become intuitive, uh, almost to the point of relying on it 
every time I want to go into manual focus. Anyway, hope this has been useful. Hope it's been helpful. Um, if there's anybody out there that's got these lenses, um, please go and explore this function and find out whether it works for you in the same way. Uh, if you're considering the brand, uh, it's definitely something, uh, a feature um, that I would consider uh, in your choice, simply because, certainly for me anyway, it's so useful. But there we go. Thank you once again uh, for uh, watching. Uh, hope everybody is keeping well and safe in these slightly odd times. Uh, this is the, the last video that I'm going to do um, for the moment about functions and features with uh, Olympus cameras. I'm sure some of you would be pleased to know. But if there's uh, any other functional feature within the camera that uh, you guys would like me to talk about in the way that I use it, please leave a comment uh, in the description uh, or in the more tab, show more tab below, uh, and I will try and pull together a video uh, in order to do that for you. But until the next one, thank you once again. Stay well and stay safe. Take care now.